the superintendent's report. Uh, superintendent's report, curriculum advisory council, no update. Facility advisory council, we met on May 21st, uh, reviewed and we walked the pool project and uh, the timeline. Uh, Tom and Wes met the uh, subcontractor who's serving as basically the general contract on the project from, from mechanical concepts. Um, we also are going to, based on the discussion at that meeting, we're going to put out an RFQ, RFQ request for quote. Um, but that, you know, Tom had brought up a suggestion about possibly having a third party do commissioning. Uh, commissioning is when you pay a third party and to come in and oversee the actual um, hookup, test and balance, uh, initial install to make sure everything is operating appropriately and it kind of serves as a checks and balance between the designer and the installer. Um, so we're waiting to get some quotes on that to see what the budget would be and if it's within our uh, contingency fund for the project. Who's on that um, committee? Uh, Wes and Tom Jacobs. And it's not committee, it's the advisory council. The, right, the right. advisory. It's good to have an architect look right. at that stuff. <laughs> well, it, it, it was his idea to bring it in. It would be like, a, it's almost like an insurance policy. Yeah, so. that's great. So we'll see. Finance Advisory Council it will be scheduled between June and July, between the June board meeting and July board meeting. The board will receive their first draft of the tentative budget for the June 11th meeting. Uh, the Finance Advisory Council have seen a summary snapshot. We do not have, we won't have the May 30th actuals uh, from the Township Treasurer's Office till the first week of June. So once those are dumped in, uh, Kristen will uh, ask the business office staff to implement them in the budget and we'll get that out to the entire board. And then what after the board sees it in the first meeting in June, um, Ms. Uh, Deanna, Wes, and myself can meet into the advisory council mode with Kristen through June and July and uh, scrub the budget and look at anything that um, comes up or any questions, concerns, other ideas, uh, and then we'll present a budget for the board to approve in July as a tentative budget. Just as a reminder, when you approve the tentative budget in July, it's just so that we have some money, uh, a, a document to work off of to start doing our initial spending. The board does not formally approve the budget, the formal budget that's sent to the state until September. Uh, Personnel Advisory Council, I've just been <coughs> communicating with them accordingly on any staffing matter, matters, but no formal meetings. Uh, and Policy Advisory Council, we have not received any updates from the School Board Association for our policy manual. And that's all I have for superintendent's report. Any comments? Questions? No.